Reason number five: Mayank Agarwal drops Russell in the 14th over. With still 45 runs to go, Andre Russell hit the ball straight to long off. Mayank Agarwal couldn't hold on to the catch, and what should have been a wicket ball went for a six. The over cost 17 runs, and Russell added another four to his tally before being dismissed in the next over. Reason number four: Punjab openers dismissed cheaply. The opening pair of Rahul and Gayle has been the pillar of Punjab's batting. The two were the highest and second highest run scorers for Punjab respectively. However, Sandeep Porya dismissed both the openers in the power play in a setback to the hosts. Punjab could only manage 41 runs in the first six overs. Reason number three: Chris Lynn gets Kolkata off to a flyer. Chasing 183, Chris Lynn ensured that Kolkata got off to a good start for the second time in consecutive games. He scored 38 of his 46 runs in boundaries and ended with a strike rate of over 200. By the time he was dismissed on the last ball of the power play, Kolkata had raced away to 62. Reason number two: Punjab bowlers failed to support Shami. Mohammad Shami put in an impressive performance. and picked up the wicket of the dangerous Andre Russell at a crucial juncture in the game. He also had the best economy in the match across both sides. However, the other Punjab bowlers failed to support him. Four bowlers went for more than 10 runs and over, while Captain Ashwin had an economy rate of 9 and a half. Reason number 1: Shubman Gill scores an unbeaten half century. Following his 76 against Mumbai, Shubman Gill scored another half century on Friday night to guide his team to victory. He took minimal risks and remained unbeaten through the innings. The other Kolkata batsmen batted around Gill as he held the Kolkata chase together. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.